Hello everyone, welcome to Living Your Best Life with Joan Bella. Today is episode 5 of our story on this wonderful Fun Friday episode. So now we're moved from Winnipeg to Toronto. Uh, Joel is a month old. So and Andy is about five. Andy is about five. Interesting experience as we moved into a whole new area city. Yes, there is no big city, no family. Uh, we came because uh, you wanted to continue your studies, Bible studies. Bible school. And so we moved to Toronto for that. And um, I was transferred from, uh, I worked at the bank at the time. I was an account manager with uh, one of the major banks. And I transferred to one of the uh, branches here. And uh, you got a job. I got a job at a factory working for, uh, just doing, just working with car parts and stuff like that. But then shortly after that, got the opportunity of working for the church full time. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was fun. That's exactly what I always That's what wanted. That's we wanted, right? Yeah, that, that so was your dream? That was my dream. So I uh, had the opportunity of working uh, for the church and really getting involved with ministry while you were... So while we were still maintaining, like I was maintaining a full-time job, uh, working uh, full-time at the church, yeah. uh, both of us, um, having the kids, uh, having a job, being uh, worship leaders, or you were the worship leader, yeah. being at youth leaders and working at the church office. It was busy, it was very busy. We were busy. so busy. It was like from um, Monday to Monday, <laughs> we were really busy within the ministry, but which was, was amazing. So really, I mean, it was good. We had a, a really, uh, youth, really good youth, youth group. group. Church was really thriving. Uh, youth group was great. We, mm -hmm. um, we really, God gave us an opportunity to really pour into young people uh, on that uh, during that season, which was amazing. And um, it was funny because after after Friday services, a lot of them would come over to our tiny little apartment, right. and we would just have uh, fun times. And sometimes was like playing games, and other times was just uh, uh, speaking about God's goodness and right. uh, just having fun. And we really developed that relationship with some of our young adults. That even today, yes. uh, we still maintain. We uh, still maintain. Uh, that some of them are, is, are, you know, pastors or missionaries or, you know, teachers and so many yes, other. Have their own families. Business. It's just great when we come together and we're like, uh, we try to do it at least like a, a couple, couple times, times a year ago. and get together and have uh, uh, a great time with them. So now we're in Toronto, and our senior pastor goes to Pensacola. And that's when everything kind of shifted. Shifted. <laughs> well, what happened in Mexicola? So, uh, as we as we continued to pursue God, there was always this. Uh, we had been we heard about revivals and even the Toronto revival and everything else, but it came to a point where, you know, I had never experienced. Uh, revival so therefore that was foreign to us yeah so we actually went to uh the toronto revival the airport revival at the time uh quite a few times and we kind of questioned was that god we well, a lot question, of times i was really determined that was not that was god. not god because like god would never act this way again from a, p a place where i had never experienced yes so now we find ourselves i find myself in pensacola because at the time we had, uh, Joel was very small, so I was not able to travel right. with you and the youth So group. we took a couple of vans or two or three vans uh, uh, with the young adults down. And the first night, eh, you know, it was great. We had a, we had heard about this revival in Pensacola. And then I had, you know, we said, no, people, we need to go back to the uh, to the meetings with a different uh uh, attitude, pers you know, really look at it from a different perspective. Finding out what is God doing, really. Right, and so um, Toronto was all about 
The revival in Toronto was all about manifestations. The love of the Father. The love of the Father, heart of God, and all that. Well, Pensacola was not about that. Pensacola was about repentance. Repentance. And uh, again, holiness. Holiness. So I find myself chasing after a speaker at the end of the service in our for him to pray for you on our on our second night for him to pray for me and i went down in the power of god and i remember being under a pew <laughs> and shaking and everything that i said was not god now is being manifested in my personal life in like me my body and i'm shaking i can speak you know and i remember them shutting the, the lights off and asking people to leave the building and i'm like I can't I'm be, still here. I'm still under this thing. Somebody needs to come and rescue me. But I couldn't see the pastor. I couldn't see the, the young people. I couldn't see anybody. Eventually, I tried to get up and kind of move around, and I saw them. Well, every time somebody touched me, they would they would like be electrocuted, and the and that electricity would really throw them like several feet away from me. So for three days, three nights, I didn't speak, I didn't eat, I didn't uh, sleep. I remember them sitting me on my bed on that Holiday Inn hotel asking me who prayed for you I need to know who prayed for you I'm like I, that. I don't know and I couldn't put a word never mind a sentence together and I was hit with the power of God so hard that everything within me was being twisted and as if God was really uh, God was giving, showing you that, you know, like when uh, a lot of the times we see God to our own box, you know, like God cannot do beyond this because I don't know right. any more than that. And the Lord was showing us that we have to take him out of the box and he is God. He can do anything he wants, whatever way he wants it. Right. And, and for us, there was a huge lesson in our ministry, understanding that God is an awesome God. He's a, he is a huge God that he will do far more than and what we can And the things that we don't understand. Imagine. You know, to me, it was like the things that I don't understand, I cannot question it. I cannot even even say it's not or it is God because, just, be, our because just because I did not experience this exactly. doesn't mean it's not God. Mm -hmm. So once I experienced, I'm like, oh, because I remember being pinned to the ground and all this, all these manifestations are happening in my body and I'm like, stop it, you know, I'm trying to control, but I can't. So suddenly I've... I started thinking, man, you know what? Just because I did not experience it, it doesn't mean it's not God. That's right. So now all these manifestations are happening. So I repented. I'm like, God, the things I understand, the things I don't understand. I want all. I of am. It. I want everything, and I I'm going to embrace it because whatever you want to do, you're going to do it. So our ministry, our life, you know, everything shifted after that. Coming back to church, you know, with the pastors and everything, we really went into. Uh, a revival at the church mm -hmm. back in Toronto and the young people on fire for God the church miracle signs wonders it was powerful it and, was very powerful and we were we found ourselves in the midst of a move of God in Toronto where in our Portuguese in, church in the uh, Portuguese international church and I remember our Friday night meetings were like powerful you know young people on fire for God on the altar repenting and wanting the presence of God mm -hmm. so that really shifted our whole entire ministry from that moment on when we experienced the tangible power present electricity of God revival we were revived I mean you you didn't go down but yet coming home and mm -hmm. you experiencing with the me. whole church was got touched by everybody did uh, the the group of young uh, men and women that came from uh, yeah. that Pensacola revival. So our lives really changed through revival, and it wasn't the one that happened in the back, in, like in our backyard, which we honor and are so thankful for. Toronto and what God we actually, did and is still doing. <laughs> we actually <laughs> spoke with some of the leaders that are yeah. repented <laughs> for and judging. And all, all of that, but you know, it's interesting how God really takes full circle, and and we don't want nothing else. But, but what the, God has for us. What God has. So, but that was the beginning of a shift in our ministry and everything that would come after that. Mm -hmm. So why did we leave Toronto? Interesting. Well, church was flourishing, ministry was going well. We had been really learning a lot, a lot of impartation, a lot of learning, a lot of uh, really um, 
just embracing ministry and learning what ministry is all about. And it has been a really interesting journey, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then uh, all of a sudden we are uh, faced with uh, two opportunities. Uh, one, a small town uh, north of Ontario, uh, in the northern part of Ontario. And uh, it's a smaller church, winter, very small, very church. small church, and uh, really cold up there. Winters are very harsh. <laughs> Which we, as you can tell, we prefer the sun. <laughs> and then the other one was a very well-established church in a city where you have experienced revival. That's right. So this uh, this uh, church was in Pensacola, and a beach that we love, the sun. Right. And we were faced with this decision that um, in the natural, it was an easy choice. But we wanted to be... We what, wanted to make sure it was God's That we wanted to do what... Us. Yes. So we want to make sure that our desires were actually his desires that we would follow right. his lead yeah uh, so we kind of like we're faced with a choice so to find out where we go from here don't forget to tune in next week uh, on living your best life with John Bella on episode six of our story and we really learned to rely on the voice of God we learned to trust God even beyond the natural mm -hmm. uh, and we've learned to take a step of faith and really step into the dream in the calling of God for our lives. So, so stay tuned. Please subscribe to our channel. I uh, click on the little bell at the bottom so yes. you have uh, all of our notifications. And, don't and be forget, blessed. Don't forget to share the broadcast. And like Bella said, be blessed and be a blessing.